Hey, grown folks. This is Donna Smith, a.k.a. Lady D. Another weekend question for you that we can talk about in regards to relationships, love, sex, the real life, whatever it is that come to mind. So I have another one for you here. Um, being in a, in a relationship with someone, and it, this is a very sensitive, sensitive uh, topic and situation that most know someone that has been through this or has struggled and went through this themselves. Now you with someone that you really, really love, you really care about, you really been down for, they've been down for you, and this person has gotten themselves in a situation where they've gotten caught up with substance abuse. Now as we know, substance abuse is a very serious, serious topic, is a very serious, serious event in life that you know it's and, and it's sad when you see someone struggling with such a dilemma so if you are with someone that you know when you started off your connection and your vibe with them they didn't have a situation they didn't have a dependency they didn't have a, an addiction and over time a few years down the road they got caught up and you thought with all that was going on that you could hang, that you could help wither the storm with them, to help balance the situation and to, you know, help them get back on focus and track. But they were not ready to do so. And so while they were struggling with you to get their lives cleaned up, which they really didn't want to do at that time, you were living in hell because every time you turned around they were trying to get high or trying to go to people that was more accommodating to the pleasures and things that they like to do so they were hanging out not coming home you know things came started coming up missing in the house they started stealing and taking things the car I mean it was a big old mess but your gut, you wanted to stay and stick in there and help this person because you knew that they were a good person deep down inside. You lived that, you dealt with that, but you loved them so and didn't want to see that self-destruction. You didn't want to see them throw away their life and, and, and to get out there and, and get caught up in, in prison or, or, or worse, killed you know so you dealt with it you allowed them to come back you allowed them to come in and out sometimes you went out looking for them walking the streets driving the streets calling friends when they didn't come home for days praying and hoping that nothing had happened to them yet they would turn around a few days later and still find themselves at your door wanting to come in and sleeping for days to catch up on their rest because they had been out in the world doing what they do. When is enough enough? Let's talk about codependency. Are we not codependent when we allow one to take us through their struggle? I mean, there's one thing to be there for a person to to help them through, you know, going through that difficult time if they have made the decision to get off of it. If they have made the decision to want to set their, their path straight, wanting to step away, out away from that addiction and the lifestyle and the things that drive them to do that. If they have stepped out of that and they needed your su support out of love as far as, you know, meetings and maybe a rehab situation or what have you, I can somewhat, you know, understand the support there. But what if you're the only one trying? What if you're the only one that wants so bad for them to get right, but they still want to do wrong? Where and when do you draw that line? Or is it wrong if you end up saying no more? You can't come here like that. 
You can't do me like that. You can't bring that poison into our family and our home and, and, and your lies and manipulations and, and thefts and things of that nature. You cannot do that no more. And then you slam that door shut and leave them out there to find their way. Are you wrong for that? Should you be there to the end? I mean... Should you pretty much give your life and, and become a part of theirs? And no matter what the struggle is, I mean, say, for instance, if this was a marital, marital situation, the marriage vow says, till death do you part, through sickness and do all that. So isn't that a sickness? Isn't that a situation that... Perhaps you shouldn't turn your back on that person. You know, that's real deep. I like to know what you guys think about that. You know, is the dynamics different if you're just dating compared to married to someone? Or does it matter? If they're strung out and they're not wanting help and they're not wanting to put themselves in a better situation and they're bringing you down and the family down in the process, are you obligated to waddle in that that mess with them because they've chose to corrupt their lives. Get back with me. Let me know what you think. Leave a comment. You can leave a message by emailing me at dgrier12000 at yahoo. Dot com, or you can contact me on Facebook under Donna Smith and let me know what your thoughts are. You can also view this video on YouTube. I'm on YouTube under Donna Smith. So look me up. Check me out. Leave a comment. Let me know your experiences, what you're going through, what you've been through, or what you would do if you was in that situation. Let us know.